Hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and uh, Merry Christmas Eve Eve, I think. Yeah? Yeah, it is, it is, it is Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Wow. Alright, I have two books that I would like to, I guess, wrap up in a sense. And these are said books. So, um... A Christmasaurus Carol by Tom Fletcher. Now, hang on. So, technically, this, The Christmasaurus, is book one. Yes, I also have the musical edition. It's just an added bonus. It's just what it is. It's about a boy. He loves Christmas. He loves dinosaurs. Somewhere, an egg is hatched. I mean in the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> an egg is hatched and it just happens to be a Christmasaurus. Christmas dinosaur, woo! They go on adventures, fun times. Now, book number two, The Christmasaurus and the Winter Witch. There's a winter witch. They go back and forth in time. Good times. Book number three, Christmasaurus and the Naughty List. There's a naughty and a nice list. We all know this from the Santa. Everything about Santa. There's a naughty and there's a nice list. Um, which kid are you? Yeah, it uh, things happen. So, <laughs> technically, this is book number four. Now, for this book, I don't think you actually need to read all the other books. I do recommend you do because they're just a good time. It's Christmas, there's a dinosaur, there's a Christmas dinosaur. What's not to love? So, <laughs> this book, which by the way is a lot thinner than the other ones, um, not that noticeable honestly, but this book is a take on A Christmas Carol. If you didn't, you know, get that from the, the name of the book. Yeah? No? Okay. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> very, very simply, in this one, they kind of accidentally read a, I guess, a cursed book. The book comes to life. They read A Christmas Carol, and Ebenezer Scrooge just happens to come out of it and uh, he bar humbugs everyone to hate Christmas and everything about Christmas. Um, it's honestly just a good time. It was fun seeing the old gang again. I didn't think uh, they would write, Tom Fletcher would write another Christmas Christmasaurus book. I'm not mad about it though. I'm not mad about it at all. I really think this is a, a fun take on a classic that is a Christmas Carol and <laughs> highly recommend if you like a bit of a I guess middle grade is what these come under or younger I don't know it's a good time for the kids it's a good time for your um if you're an adult I'm an adult ish yeah I don't understand why people let me be in charge of myself but there you go. The next one. One Perfect Christmas and Other Stories by Paige Toon. Now, this is her, I guess, short story collection would be the correct term for the, the book. Yeah. Um, so, I believe most of them, if not all of them, have been in her newsletter called The Hidden Page. Um, I don't have all the newsletter mail, so... I, I can't confirm this. Also, my email have deleted uh, quite a few of them, um, even though I saved them. Anyway, um, so to read this book, you kind of have to, you know, know and love Paige Toon's character. It's characters. It's an S on that. Um, so, bear with me. Yeah, this is a fair bit of books you need to read to have the grasp of 
the characters in the short stories. So first off, page two's characters, they kind of jump back and forth between different books to begin with. And then we have the short stories that kind of fall between the books. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I showed you, there's a lot of books you need to read to actually maybe get this. But if you are a page tune reader and you haven't yet picked this up, highly recommend. <laughs> and if you haven't read all the page tune books, I highly recommend them too. They are rom-com Ish. That's what I want to call them. I think they go into like women's fiction or general fiction or romance or I don't know what. I call them rom-com because I find them more funny. Chiclet, kind of also that. Somewhere along the lines of rom-com and chiclet. Whichever you want to go. They're, they are romance books with mild smuts I'd say because um, there are some of the books have some on-page sex not as graphic as, you know, other books. So I'd say mild smut, uh, if we if we need to, you know, detail the whole thing. But I love page tune, so... I mean, it was about time I picked this one up because I read the books that comes after. <laughs> I did um, kind of just pick this one up because I started it, was it this summer? I read um, the Johnny Jefferson, Jesse Jefferson book series, I suppose. Um, so there's short stories in this one. Yeah, there's at least two. Uh, and I picked this one, I, I, I read those. So I thought, you know, I've started this book now. Now I need to finish it. So I did. All the Christmas vibes, all the Christmas vibes. Okay, so now all of the stories in this book are books. In this book is Christmas related, but one perfect Christmas is. <laughs> the chaos, the chaos, that is me. Um, Did I, I, no, no singing, no singing involves. Right. Yeah, so I'm gonna go have my first Christmas dinner of the year. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have three Christmas dinners this year. 23rd today, 25th and the 26th. It's gonna be so much food. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas food, but you can have too much of a good thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been short and sweet. And, uh, you know, happy holidays. I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.